welcome to Hard Talk India. As India and Pakistan start talking seriously about Kashmir and prepare for a summit in New York next week, what is the opinion of separatists in the valley? Do they regard these talks as serious or do they see them as a sham? That's the core question that I shall put to the man who many regard as the most hardline of them all, the chairman of the Tehreek e Hurriyat, Saeed Ali Shah Gilani. Mr. Gilani, one round of talks between India and Pakistan are already over. The two heads of government are meeting next week in New York, and then in December, more talks. How do you view the fact that India and Pakistan claim to be talking seriously about Kashmir? As far as India and Pakistan dialogue is concerned, they have started the dialogue from since January 2004. And till date, eight rounds of dialogue have been completed, but uh, they have not addressed the Kashmir issue. So you think they are actually avoiding the Kashmir issue? Kashmir issue is a core issue in between India and Pakistan and as far as the people of Jammu and Kashmir are concerned, this is a very uh, important issue for the people of Jammu and Kashmir because they are, they are fighting for right to self-determination right from 1947 till date. You said something very interesting. You said that even though eight rounds of talks have been held since January, up to now the two countries have not touched on Kashmir. Yeah, they have not touched the Kashmir. And In other words, you are saying they are claiming to talk about Kashmir, but they are not doing so. They are not doing so, definitely. Let me put to you what is the official Pakistani proposal of handling the Kashmir dispute? General Musharraf has repeatedly suggested a four-stage process where stage two would be to discard or put aside solutions that are not acceptable to either side. How do you respond to that suggestion? You see, as far as Mr. Musharraf's suggestions are concerned, uh, we see that uh, as far as the Jammu and Kashmir dispute is concerned, it is a very simple solution for the dispute of Jammu and Kashmir. But unfortunately, it is India who is not accepting the very much peaceful solution for the dispute of Jammu and Kashmir. Which is what? Which is that uh, India, uh, Indian government and Indian leadership has given the pledge and commitment to the people of Jammu and Kashmir that you will be given right to self-determination so that you will decide your future whether you want to be with India or to accede to Pakistan. So you are talking so about... I, I will tell you, please let me uh, allow to complete my sentence. And then this is also a historical fact that India took the case to the United Nations Security Council and the, uh, in total 18 resolutions have been passed in the United Nations Security Council all those resolutions have been signed and accepted by the Indian government and uh, uh, the you, people of Jammu and Kashmir are demanding let, that... Let's, the let's leave the history there. The audience wants to know that your favorite solution is a plebiscite. Uh, yeah, a definitely, referendum. definitely. According to the according to the resolutions which India have accepted and signed and according to the wishes and aspirations of the people of Jammu and Kashmir and according to the struggle which the people of Jammu and Kashmir okay. have started right from 1947 and they have given the lot of sacrifices for okay, achieving their objective right to self, right to self determination. Let's see how your favored solution a plebiscite or a referendum fits into General Musharraf's proposal for a four-stage process. He says that at the second stage, solutions that are unacceptable to either side should be put out of the picture. Now, how do you respond to that? <laughs> My dear sir, this, this is not possible, that any solution for the dispute of Jammu and Kashmir can be found out, which will be uh, convincing and acceptable for the all concerned three parties. So this, you, is, this is dead, dead impossible. So you disagree with General Musharraf? This is dead impossible. Yeah, it's this, dead impossible. This is dead impossible that any solution can be found out which will which will be acceptable for all the concerned three, three parties. In which case? It means India, Pakistan, and the people of Jammu and Kashmir. It, it, people of Jammu and Kashmir are demanding for right to self-determination. They are demanding that the commitments of Indian government and Indian 
leader so you said, should be fulfilled so said, and the resolutions should be implemented but, but and according to these norms and according to these uh, sol solutions and way up to way up to achieve peace and so resolve the kashmir dispute there is no possibility that any solution can be find out which will be acceptable for all the concerned three parties okay in other words you are saying it is impossible for a solution to exist that all three parties would accept you are also therefore implying that General Musharraf's four-stage proposal is one that you disagree with. You think it's not workable. We are not. We are not dis we're discussing the General Musharraf's. No, but I'm asking you about it. No, you are I'm asking. asking you, you are asking. I am. I am telling you. I am. I am giving you your answer. Why don't you accept my answer? My answer is that as far as the people of Jammu and Kashmir are concerned. There is a only solution for the people of Jammu and Kashmir to ful fulfill their aspirations and wishes. Uh, 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 th that is the implementation of resolutions of United Nations. So that is, and so and if if by dialogue this is this provision is yeah, definitely in our constitution, but the dialogue should be uh, at a tripartite level, all the concerned three parties. And in this dialogue, the historical background of the Jammu and Kashmir should be taken into consideration. The resolutions okay. should That's be taken into consideration. Pause a moment, pause a moment, and let me therefore make clear for the audience who don't follow Kashmir as well as you do, the implications of what you're saying. The first implication is that General Musharraf's four-stage proposal for sorting out Kashmir, which his foreign minister last week in Delhi said was on the table, is one that you think is impractical. You think it won't work. You see, as far as uh, we are, uh, we have a say, 57 years experience before us. We see Why don't that, you give me a simple answer? Why don't you say yes or no? No, no, I will not. I will not give you the because simple. Because the problem this, with this your answer, long answers I, 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 is that you are trying to avoid I, disagreeing my, with my, the my, position my dear, taken by My General dear Musharraf. brother, my dear brother, I am an eyewitness of the whole situation in the Jammu and Kashmir, which is prevailing right from 1947 till date, and nobody can you find like me who is an eyewitness the whole situation. Indian government have given the pledges and commitments to the people of Jammu and the Kashmir. Second. If the people of Jammu and Kashmir are demanding that the, those pledges and commitments should be should be fulfilled, what is the sin of the people of the, Jammu and the, Kashmir? The second, Why they are being king, killing, killing mercilessly? Let, let, let's not get rhetorical and polemical. Let's stick to the issue at hand. The second implication of what you're saying is that tripartite talks alone can sort out the matter, but since India refuses to have tripartite talks, these talks between India and Pakistan, in your eyes, are valueless. Yeah, uh, until and unless the India will accept the disputed nature of Jammu and Kashmir, until and unless India will uh, accept and will agree and will come forward for and cooperate for the implementation of United Nations resolutions, the, the acceptable solution cannot be found. In out. other words, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and General Musharraf, when they meet in New York next week, are effectively wasting their time. That's what you're saying. You see, we have seen so many stages when the India and Pakistan was talking uh, for Kashmir and for other matters. As far as Kashmir is concerned, they have not uh, given any solution. Which, which could have been acceptable for the people of Jammu and Kashmir. Clearly, this, is a, this is a 57 years but experience. You, you've made clear that you question the sincerity of the Indian government. That's been your position and it's a well-known position. Yeah, are, you also position. Now beginning this also fact. are you also now beginning to accept that General Musharraf's position, as outlined in his four-stage proposal, which you think is valueless, is also now beginning to suggest as if he's not sincere? No, I will not say like this, that you, uh, uh, in a way you are putting the question. I, my viewpoint is very much clear that uh, as far as India's position is concerned about the Jammu and Kashmir, they are not sincere, they are not serious. What about they are not, they, 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 and they are not, they, they are not uh, uh, ready to resolve the Kashmir dispute by peaceful means you, and according you, to its historical background. You've said that this already. is a hard reality which I, which I am putting before you. What as far as Musharraf is concerned, I will tell you they are very much sincere to resolve the Kashmir dispute. It is India who is the bottleneck in the way but, of but the, 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 uh, the solution of the but Kashmir. But the implication of General Musharraf's four-stage process is that if India were to agree to follow it, 
then India's objections to a plebiscite or a referendum would mean that a plebiscite would be ruled out. And that understanding was made clear and agreed to by his foreign minister in Delhi last week. Pakistan has also accepted the resolutions of United Nations Security Council. They are, also, the they, the they are also morally bound to cooperate for the implementation of the resolutions of United Nations Security Council. All right, you keep they saying cannot so. bypass the resolutions. You keep saying so. What about the fact that the Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi Annan, in public has said two years ago that those resolutions are now defunct and overtaken by time? No, this is not uh, correct. Is that so? this, no, I, I will tell you the just recently the U European Union have given the statement. But, but we are talking about a United Nations resolution. United Nations Secretary General says it's Secretary, defunct. Secretary General can say this, but uh, this is this this is not acceptable. To whom? The, to, to we but people. If the UN we has, people. But if the UN has moved away, how does it We matter? people who are fighting for a, for a just and noble cause, who have given a lot of sacrifices for achieving their objective, we are, we are in a position that we, that we can reject the, even the UN, UN resolution, UN, UN secretary's so statement. You are, you are which rejecting is, which, which is not, Annan's statement. Which is, which is not according to the past history of the Jammu and Kashmir. In other words, there are 18 resolutions who have been passed but, in the United States. But now you have a dispute, it seems, uh, with any, Kofi any Annan as well. Any secretary general cannot is not having any authority to reject those resolutions which have been passed, which are the his, which, which are the part of history. In other words, Kofi Annan has acted without authority. You can say, I will say, I, I am said. telling you, I am telling you that uh, United Nations Security Council Secretary is a responsible person who is a morally bound to co adopt and to respect those resolutions which have been passed in the United Nations Except Security that Council. Except that they are overtaken so, by time and so, they are so If, 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 uh, for, if, for example, I will take you, that if he is telling that the resolutions are not, uh, uh, you see, practicable at this juncture, he is disrupt those, uh, disrespect those resolutions who have been passed in the, in the United Nations Security Council. Let's so we can say, we can say it, because we are, we we are sufferers. We are giving a bullet. We are giving a d dignity and honor. We are, be, we are being a, you see, billionaires of property for achieving okay. our objective. Let's approach this matter a different way. 57 years after 1947, yeah. is independence for Kashmir an option that you still wish to see realized? You see, our option, my, I, I have told you in clear terms, there is no ambiguity in my statement that the people of Jammu and Kashmir are fighting for the right to self-determination right from 1947 till date but and they have given a lot of sacrifices but for this far but achieving my question this object is too. Does myself, this myself has given a people to, to, to more than 12 years in the Indian prisoners but, but for this just and noble cause and Mr. our Mr. whole Ghilani. nation have been given a dignity, honor and Mr. Uh, Ghilani, you are not you see, answering my question. Bullet. When you talk of self-determination, are you talking about simply a choice between India and Pakistan, or are you also talking about the option of independence? Uh, as far as the resolutions are concerned, my dear brother, as far as the United Nations resolutions are concerned, there is only two options in those resolutions. So India, independence India is and not Pakistan. something you are looking for. Why, why don't you <laughs> allow me to complete my sentence and complete, complete my answer? This Please is what? unfair. I only want you to be clear. I am, I am telling you that uh, as far as the resolutions are concerned, in resolutions there are only two options, India and Pakistan. Whenever we say that the resolutions should be implemented, then there is only two options. We are, but you we will, also we will, we will not, of self-determination. We, 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 we will not, we will not, we will not uh, include the third option in, in the implementation of the resolutions. But if in a tripartite dialogue, India, Pakistan, and the leadership of Jammu and Kashmir, if in tripartite dialogue, which uh, as far as our constitution is concerned, uh, demanding that uh, these tripartite dialogues should be under the, under the auspices of, under the provision of, uh, under the control of, under the monitoring of United Nations Security Council. If in this tripartite dialogue, all the concerned three parties, India, Pakistan, and Kashmiri leadership should agree that the Jammu and Kashmir, which was existing in August 1947, should be given independent status. 
if all the concerned three parties will accept uh, this solution, we will also accept this solution. Only in those circumstances, not otherwise? Not otherwise, yeah, not otherwise. What do you then say to people, not just in India, but also in Pakistan, who say that the only practical resolution is to convert the existing line of control into a formal, official border? Never at all, never on the earth. Under no I circumstances? Yesterday, yesterday there was a... Uh, a gathering of delegations of uh, uh, all parties who did conference, I have declared without any ambiguity that never on the earth we will accept the uh, um, LOC as a permanent partition line for Jammu and Kashmir. Except never on the earth. You say never on earth will you accept it, except that increasingly there are voices not just in India, but much more importantly in Pakistan. We will fight. We will fight against these. Uh, Benazir Bhutto, the, the former Prime on the basis, Minister on the of basis Pakistan. Of, on the basis of mass movement, on the basis of mass support, inshallah, we will fight against these uh, conspiracies and against let these, me, these, me, these solutions which are against the uh, sacrifices of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. You call them conspiracies. Benazir yeah, Bhutto, conspiracies. Benazir Bhutto, the former Prime Minister Jammu, of Pakistan. Jammu and, Jammu and Kashmir is now under the, uh, under the Indian forces let me, siege. Let me, that is also a conspiracy. Mr. Gilani, let me finish the question so you know you which finish, conspiracy you I'm talking about. Benazir Bhutto, the former Prime Minister of Pakistan. These, one moment, one moment, these, one moment. <laughs> has officially, not just in newspaper articles, but even at seminars in India, talked about the need to consider concepts like open borders, my dear shared brother, I will tell you, even joint parliaments. My dear brother, I will tell you, nobody on earth, whoso he may be, we will never his solution, we, we will never his advice, we will never accept that solution which will not be according to the wishes and aspirations and sacrifices of the people of Jammu and Kashmir, whosoever he may be. Ayaz Amir, perhaps one of why, Pakistan's why, why, best in vain, known in vain columnists. You are, you are putting those persons which, which we, have, we, we are not accepting. I'm leadership. talking about people who we are not, we are not accepting in leadership. Pakistan. You may accept, but we are not accepting their leadership. But what if the Pakistani people begin to be influenced by these voices? Pakistani people are, are, they are with the people of Jammu and Kashmir. They are supporting morally, diplomatically and politically to that's, the people of Jammu and that's Kashmir. That's the point I'm questioning. Yeah. On the surface, certainly Pakistan Pakistanis say they support diplomatically, morally and politically the people of Kashmir. But if you look at the details and the implications... Let me finish. Let me finish. It's only important I should finish. When you look at the details of General Musharraf's four-stage process, it makes clear that if India were to agree to it, then solutions like plebiscite and referenda would be ruled out. And that is something his foreign minister confirmed when he was in Delhi last week. If that's the case, Pakistan is diluting its stand. You're not accepting it, but not it's a reality. All, not at all, not at all. They cannot dilute because the people of Jammu and Kashmir have given the sacrifices for this precious goal and objective, and they will respect and they will protect oh, this, these, protect, these uh, sacrifices and try to achieve their object too. Then what does General Musharraf mean when he says that at we, stage two, I will we, eliminate proposals that <laughs> India does not accept? You, uh, you, uh, you are not uh, giving the thought that uh, if General Musharraf is saying that uh, we will not uh, take into consideration that solution which India will not accept, then there is no way to solve the dispute of Jammu and Kashmir. Though no way. No way. No way. So are you then saying India, that this dispute has, will continue India forever? Has, India, India has accepted the disputed nature of Jammu and Kashmir. India should accept that uh, the people of Jammu and Kashmir are fighting for their objective right from 1947 till date. I don't deny and, it, but and the, people yourself, Jam Mr. It, the people of Jammu and Kashmir have been more than five lakh per precious lives for achieving we this objective. We have limited time. Let me put this to you. You are coming to a position where it seems that you don't believe a solution is possible. No, that solution which, not, which will not be acceptable for the people of Jammu and Kashmir, that will not be acceptable, acceptable in any way, in any way. We will fight Do you? up to the last drop of dollar, blood. We will fight against the last of our rivals. But it because seems we will that you perish, we will perish, but we will not accept any solution which will be against the wishes and aspirations of the majority of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. You note it and tell the whole world.
except that Mr. Gilani, yeah. you may soon have to be fighting public opinion in Pakistan as well, because that's the implication of Benazir Bhutto's no, position, Ayaz Amin's not position, not not perhaps even General Musharraf's not position. Not at all. These are, these are your, your ambitions. They, they, they can, this can be, and nobody can uh, check anybody's uh, wishes and asp aspirations and any, you see, wishful thinking. But as far as the Jammu and Kashmir is ground situation is concerned, I am uh, very much attached to this ground situation. I am telling you with full confidence, the people of Jammu and Kashmir, they have given a lot of sacrifices and they are in, in the, a position to protect those, in the those meantime, sacrifices. What happens to the talks that the Indian government wishes to have with different opinion groups in Kashmir? You refuse to talk. They have failed. Those talks have been failed. You, you see, engineered you, you that see, failure, they, didn't you? They, they, the, the moderate group of so-called Hurriyat, they, they have talked with the Indian government, the then Indian government, Mr. Uh, Lal Krishna Advani, and then they have met to Mr. Vajpayee also, and all the both the, both the rounders of talks have been failed. You, and when, when you when, engineered when, that when, failure, no, didn't you? You, see, you man, split you, Hurriyat you, on purpose. You, you listen to me. You are not doing justice to me when you are, you are stopping me while my, I am giving you answer. I am telling you that uh, when the second round of talks with Mr. Adwani finished, then Mr. Adwani was called, uh, was uh, asked in the press conference that uh, what you had done in the, in the case of Jammu and Kashmir. It is on record that Mr. Adwani has said that those people who have come from Srinagar to talk with us, they have not even touched the Kashmir issue, Kashmir dispute. They have, they have put only two pointers before us that uh, the situation on the human rights, human rights violation should be set up and then the data news should be released. Can I when they will to... raise the Kashmir question, we will on, give them answer. Can I put this something is, this, to... this, is a not, this is a result of those dialogues which the, some leaders have been uh, set with the Indian government. Public opinion in India believes, public opinion in India believes that you ensured the talks failed by splitting Hurriyat, by creating a rival Hurriyat organization. <laughs> My dear brother, I will tell you, the Hurriyat was uh, uh, right from uh, the date uh, that, uh, that was uh, installed and that was constituted till 2003. The, the Hurriyat was united. What India had did? So India is to blame? Yeah, indeed, definitely. Definitely. Not Saeed Ali Shah Gilani. Never at all. Never at all. Your heart is clean. <laughs> Very much clean. There is if no believe or guilt not. conscience on your no, side. No, not at all. You remain a Kashmiri nationalist. Uh, I, am, I am a Kashmiri Muslim and uh, I am for right to self-determination for the people of Jammu and Kashmir. I have given a sacrifices and India has, India has tried for 15, 15 times to eliminate me physically. Saeed Ali God, God is with me. A so. pleasure having you Pura on the program. Thank you. Thank you.